What's up you guys, Idiot Fliptronics. I'm gonna be helping you guys out if you're uh, trying to figure out enough if your iPhone IMEI is uh, clean for activation. So, uh, you know, this is the biggest thing when it comes to getting a used iPhone, whether it's, uh, you know, on Craigslist, in person, or, you know, on eBay or Amazon, the IMEI is pretty much what you need to be checking out. So, um, you know, I have, uh, you know, uh, been checking IMEIs for years now, and I can tell you guys that there's um, pretty much three really good sites that you can uh, check an IMEI with, but you're also going to want to check with your provider, mainly because um, you don't want to, uh, I mean, you want to protect yourself as much as possible. So you're going to want to head over to Google, just type in iPhone IMEI checker, and I'm going to tell you guys the most reliable sites you're going to be able to find. The top one iPhone IMEI has been really solid. Uh, this site right here, um, it's really good. Do not use Swappa.com. They're terrible for the most part. I only use them to cross-reference, uh, you know, just to see if, you know, uh, something comes up clean. But Swappa is really bad. So uh, stay away from Swappa. iPhoneIMEI.net is another really good one. I'm going to leave links in the description for all these guys. And uh, my last one, which is not coming up on here, but I'll, I'll type it in if it doesn't. Uh, there it is. Uh, check ASN free. This one has been solid for years. It never lets me down. It's definitely one of my top ones, uh, you know, with the other two. Um, but like I said, I'll leave links in the description for all these, you guys. And, uh, you know, even when you're done cross-referencing an IMEI on an iPhone, you still want to give your provider a call and, you know, just double check with them because you want to make sure that you're getting, um, you know, an iPhone that's clean for activation. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with an iPhone you have nothing you can do with. Then you have to either contact the seller if they work with you, if you bought it online. If you bought it in person, most of the time they're shady and you know, you're not going to be able to get your money back, but if you do it online, I mean, you can definitely get your money back, but, you know, this will help you, uh, it'll help save some headaches ahead of time, just checking an IMEI out. So, I'll leave the uh, links in the description for the top three guys for checking an iPhone IMEI that are really good, and then uh, you're going to want to give your provider a call with the IMEI too, just to, uh, you know, quadruple check, if you will, to make sure it's good to go. Um, I'd appreciate you guys liked this video and shared it. Um, definitely check out our store, fliptronics.com, for some iPhone accessories. And, uh, you know, be sure to subscribe to our channel.